Real quickly, I want to also ask you about Israel. Something you tweeted this morning. <clears throat> Quote, it's real simple here, faced by constant threats. If you don't believe that Israel has a right to defend itself, then you don't believe Israel has a right to exist. You know, we hear from AOC, we hear from Bernie Sanders. They want to stop this arms sale, of this money transfer to Israel. The money goes directly to the Iron Dome, which has saved so many lives. I mean, I guess you could point this question to them directly. Do they believe that Israel has a right to exist? That's the fundamental question. Israel does have the right to exist. Israel does have the right to defend itself. And I think that's the fundamental question here. And another question is, John, the United States is a friend of Israel, and Israel's a friend of the United States. You don't ask a friend to let down their guard when they're being attacked. And I know folks say, well, what about the Palestinians? Well, listen, the Palestinians, I believe, unfortunately, are now being used by Hamas, who is being funded by Iran that looks to destabilize the area. So I want to make sure that Israel can, can protect itself. I understand the plight of the Palestinians, but I want to make sure, too, that we understand what this is all about. This is Iran injecting themselves to destabilize the area. Iran does not recognize Israel's right to exist. And I believe that this is uh, the root of what we're seeing unfolding before us now. We have to address the issue with Iran. And by the way, pursuing a flawed nuclear deal, again, with Iran is not the way to go about it. You need to put heavy pressure on Iran to get them to stop supplying Hamas with these missiles and make sure that we support Israel. Israel is a friend of the United States. Let's make sure that we support them. All right, Congressman, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. All right. Well,